Hello, English learners. Welcome back to 3 English, the channel that focuses on three crucial elements, idioms, slang, and phrasal verbs. Today's episode is so interesting as we're exploring some vocabulary related to basketball. Whether you are a basketball fan or not, you're going to enjoy it. Without further ado, let's get into it. Our first term is an air ball. It refers to a shot in basketball that completely misses the rim, backboard, and net. This type of shot is highly embarrassing for the player as it signifies a complete miss, highlighting a lack of accuracy and control. When a player attempts a shot and the ball sails through the air without making contact, with any part of the basket, it is immediately noticeable and often met with groans or jeers from the crowd. Rock is a slang term for the basketball itself. This term likely comes from the ball's solid and hefty feel, similar to a rock, which gives it a sense of importance and weight in the game. Players often refer to the ball as the rock during casual conversations to emphasize its central role in the sport. Round ball, another term for basketball, highlighting the spherical shape of the ball, differentiating it from other types of balls used in games. For example, someone might say, he was one of the greatest to ever play round ball, meaning he was one of the greatest basketball players. Who's ready to play some round ball? Bucket is a slang term used to describe a made shot or score. The term likely originated from the early days of basketball when peach baskets were used as goals. Back then, after successfully getting the ball through the basket, players had to recover it from the bottom of the basket, often resembling the act of collecting items from a container. As the game evolved, the term bucket continued to be used to emphasize the successful scoring of points. Next up, dagger. In basketball, the term dagger refers to a critical, late-game shot that effectively ends or significantly diminishes the opponent's chances of winning, much like a decisive blow in a battle. This metaphorical dagger slices through the hopes of the opposing team, often leaving them with no time to recover. The reason we call it a dagger is because, just as a physical dagger delivers a fatal wound, this shot delivers a fatal blow to the opposing team's prospects. In basketball, a swish refers to a shot that goes through the hoop without touching the rim or backboard, indicating a perfectly executed shot. This term highlights not only the precision and skill required to achieve such a shot, but also the aesthetic pleasure it provides to both players and spectators. A triple-double refers to a statistical accomplishment where a player achieves double-digit figures in three of the five major statistical categories – points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks. This rare and impressive feat highlights a player's well-rounded performance and versatility on the court. Moving on to posterized. Posterized means to dunk over another player in a way that is memorable and often humiliating for the defender. This term derives from the idea that such an impressive and dramatic play is worthy of being captured on a poster. It highlights the skill and athleticism of the offensive player while underscoring the defender's unfortunate position in the highlight. For instance, when a player drives to the hoop and posterizes the defender with an incredible dunk, it not only boosts the momentum of the game, but also creates a memorable moment that fans and players alike will talk about long after the game ends. Our final term is brick refers to a poorly executed shot that hits the rim or backboard hard and bounces off without going into the basket. This term describes an off-target shot that misses the mark in an unattractive and ineffective manner. For instance, when a player takes a jump shot from the three-point line and the ball strikes the rim hard, bouncing away without any chance of going in, it evokes the image of a brick being thrown against a wall. The term is often used in a derogatory or teasing context to emphasize the poor quality of the shot. All right, guys, these are just a few examples of basketball vocabulary. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave us a like so we can make other parts in the future. Make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out. Until next time, take care.